We need you to help us. Welcome to the Living Dock at Panacea, the dock where we have learned so much about marine life. I got the dock in 1967 in one of the incarnations. It's been whacked by hurricanes, blown by storms, but we continue to keep it here and students love it and people come to learn about it. And the dock is one of the marvelous creations of man that bridges the shore and the sea and the two are connected. But the dock is not endangered, the sea turtles are. And this is my book that I wrote in 1979, Time of the Turtle. It was to bring awareness. It was at a time when turtles were being butchered, when they were being drowned in nets. We needed to call the attention to an endangered species. An update tonight on some rare sea turtles rescued off the shores of- Loggerhead Marine Life Center has created the state's first responsible peer initiative. Saving the sea turtles off the coast of Florida. Right, helping so man and turtle kind. We had to let the world know and the world has fallen in love with sea turtles. There are t-shirts, there are beaches, there are resorts, there are government agencies to protect the turtle, and a lot of it came from the interest in this book and Archie Carr, who started the turtle movement. One of the eight wonders of the world, but it is a jewel on Florida's coast. Yes, but the work they do there, not cheap. So now the lab needs your help to continue its mission. Runlow says another major killer of these sea creatures, getting caught by fishing hooks, causing them to starve. That's where the Gulf Specimen Marine Lab comes in. We're a member of the Pier Initiative, which stems out of Fort Lauderdale that when a turtle swallows a hook, there are places to bring the turtle where the hooks can be taken out, they can be rehabilitated, it gives them a second chance. I dreamed 50 years ago about preserving and protecting sea turtles, and now the dream has happened. The political system has caught up to it. But people love turtles, but they also love to fish, and there are many turtles, the Kemp's Ridleys, that are being caught on hook and line. And over the last year, we've had almost like a 600% increase of Kemp's Ridleys, which were caught on hook and line, brought to our facilities and rehab. We need your help to expand our turtle rehab facility to be able to treat more sea turtles. To do that, the lab needs to raise $30,000. That money would go towards buying nine quarantine tanks. We are not kidding. We need your help. This is now time of the turtle and we cannot do it and we cannot build the facilities that we need without you and your help. So please contribute to this project. Please, Turtle Mother, help us with this project. Please, Turtle Mother, we need to go ahead and get this thing done. We really need to raise the money, help us with this Turtle Mother, and please, Turtle Mother.